All right, everybody, welcome back. And in this step, we're jumping back into our content plan worksheets, and we are going to, you know, select that we are we are responsible for the bottom of the funnel. You know, if we are in in the project that we are working on, um, and then we are going to look at bottom of funnel goals. You know, are we looking for uh, maximizing increasing uh, uh, immediate customer value? Are we looking to increase buyer frequency? You know, what are the things that we are looking to do at the bottom of the funnel? And then, of course, just like in the last ones, we're going to go in and do our content types. Are we going to do demos or free trials? Are we going to create some customer stories? What are we going to do as content marketers to affect the bottom of the funnel? Are we going to create a mini class? How are we going to roll this content plan Okay, and then we are going to jump in and look at our metrics. Okay, so we're going to select whether we are going to measure, you know, qual sales qualified leads, uh, retargeting list growth, average customer value, select the metrics that you're going to commit to measuring. And then the last thing you need to do in this step is because we have now fleshed out the the different content types that we are going to use we're going to use a blog we're going to use quizzes and surveys you know we're going to use an audio podcast we're going to you know we know what the the top of funnel middle of funnel and bottom of funnel content types are now we know what technology we need okay so if we selected stuff like infographics we need to probably select image editing software all right because we need to learn, you know, how to create infographics or we may, you know, and then again, we may not, you know, we may have a resource that can build that. But what I want you to do is go through here and, and, and fill out, like, do I need a microphone? Do I need a video camera? Do I need webinar software so that you know what the plan is and you can bring this either to your client or you can bring it to your employer or you can bring it, you know, bring it up with yourself if you're a, a small business owner or with your team, and you can say, "Here's the plan." Okay, we're going to, um, we are going to affect things at the top of the funnel, middle of the funnel, and the bottom of the funnel. Here's how we're going to do it. These are the goals. All right, um, these are the content types we are going to use. This is the technology that we need, and these are the metrics that we are going to measure and let's you know let's commit to this this is the content plan all right so kind of putting it all together now that we've gone through the top middle and bottom of the funnel you know you have uh the beginnings of a content plan we are going to continue to flesh this out as we move through the certification but you know at this stage you have got uh, the ability to for any client you have or any project you have internally at an organization or anything that you're doing for your own business you have these worksheets to create your uh content plan all right so with that let's move on to the next step